Let's take a look now at track detail view. And again, detail view is this lower section of the display here, either in the session and or in a range view. Now if you want to follow along, again we're using a demo song from Ableton Live called Vitamins by Jethro. Okay, so if you don't have the detail view visible, you can find it down here on this lower right hand corner, the reveal triangle. It's going to hide and reveal that for us. And sometimes this detail view is also going to be in clip mode. So to make sure you're in track view, you have several options. The first is simply to click over here on the right hand side and it'll reveal the section here. The other one is simply to double click on a track name and that will take you to track detail view. Again, I'm going to double click on a clip to take us to clip view so we can see how that works. Now I'm going to double click on track 6, the effects track, and notice what we see now. Nothing. That's because this is using no effects whatsoever, no audio devices, no synthesizers, no MIDI effects whatsoever. So we just simply see a tab that says effects and it's empty. We have some audio clips in play so we can add audio effects if we wish. And to do that we simply open up our device browser. I'm clicking on it. I'm going to audio effects and I'll simply just choose a chorus and drop it in here. And then we can see that device comes into play. Another thing you want to be aware of when you're in track view is that if you have an instrument rack you may need to open it up. We have different racks. There can be instrument racks, MIDI racks, audio effects racks. I'm going to pull out an instrument rack now that is for drums, Tom Designer, and drag it into the empty mixer area so a new track will be created. Again, this is Tom Designer. I'm going to hide my browser now to give me more room to see things. And we see this audio instrument device here. And if we open it up, we can see the devices in it. And one reason I want to do this is you can see now that sometimes the list of devices being used by a track can be quite long. And then this rectangular bar becomes a scroll bar. Clicking and holding and moving around lets you get to the different devices. So if you want to get to the EQ, you have to be able to scroll down to see it and then make your adjustments there or any other device in this list. So that's the way that works. It scrolls around. If you click on one end, it jumps and notches. Or you can simply click and hold and drag. Another thing to bear in mind when you're working with this detail view is if you need more room, you can certainly hide the info view. It has its own reveal disclose triangle here. And now you can see we have the entire lower screen available to see either the track view, which we're in now, or the clip view. Now if I toggle over with my tab key into a range view, its view may not be revealed. And again, tab back the session we see that we have detail view ready for track view. I'm going back over now to the arrangement by pressing tab and we see that there is no detail view open. However, if we do open it, option command L, we'll see that becomes available. Now one thing that will track back and forth between the session view and the range view is that if the detail view is open, it will stay either in clip mode or track mode in both screens. The only thing that can change is it may be hidden in one screen to give us full view, let's say an arrangement, and then revealed to work with devices over here. Okay, so that is a quick look at track mode. Again, we're scrolling around. Next, we'll pick up by looking at how clip view works down here.